Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, 6.9, we're going to work on, continue to work on three digit subtraction, but in this case, we're going to be practicing regrouping hundreds. So, listen to the following problem. Draw a quick picture to find the difference. Pause the video as you're drawing your quick picture and finding the difference. So, the reading club has 349 books. 173 of the books are about animals. How many books are not about animals? So again, the Reading Club has 349 books. Of those, 173 are about animals. How many books are not about animals? So go ahead and pause the video and draw your quick picture to find the difference. All right, so we have 349 minus 173. Okay, so let's model 349. Okay, so there's 349, and we have to take away 173. Can we take away three ones from nine ones? Sure we can. All right. And so we might as well just put that there to six. But now when we get to the tens, it says take away seven tens. I only have four tens. So I'm going to have to go to the hundreds and trade 100 for 10 tens. Okay, so we traded 100 for 10 tens. And so on. When we're solving it, it looks like that. Okay, so we took 300. We took one of the hundreds, leaving us 200. We traded it for 10 tens. 10 tens plus 4 tens is 14 tens. Okay, now, can we take away 7? Yeah. So we have 4 and 3 more. Again, it doesn't matter which ones we cross out, and so we're left with two, four, six, seven. Seven tens. And now of our out of our two hundreds, we have to take away one of the hundreds. So we'll cross that out. And so we're left with 176. Okay. So is that what you came up with? If not, check what I did. Okay, so where we regroup doesn't matter. Okay, if we need more of one place value, we always get it from the, the value that's immediately to its left. Okay, so 314. Maybe. All right. So in this problem, we have to model and draw 428 minus 153. So 428, I see one, two, three, four hundreds. I see two tens to represent 20. And I see two, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. Now let's start at the ones and take away three. Yeah, we can do that. And that's what they're modeling here, right? So they crossed out three, leaving them five ones. So they didn't have to regroup the ones, right? Okay, that's why we didn't cross out the eight. But when we get to the tens, we have two tens, and we have to take away five tens. Well, we can't take away five tens from two tens. So we're going to regroup by taking one of the four hundreds and trading it for ten tens. Okay, so here's our ten tens. Now we have twelve tens. And we have 300, because again, we're trading this 100 for 10 tens. All right, so now can we cross out 5? Sure. Okay. And 12 minus 5 leaves us 7 tens. And finally, we have 300s. And we have to take away one of the hundreds. And that leaves us two hundreds. Two hundreds, 
seven tens and five ones, which is read as 275. Okay. All right. So number one. Four hundred seventy eight take away three hundred fifty six. I have eight ones. Can I take away six ones? Yes, because six is less than eight. Okay, so we don't have to regroup the ones. I have seven tens. Can I take away five tens? Yes, five is less than seven. I have four hundred take away three hundred. Can I take away that? Yes, leaving me. 100. So we didn't have to regroup. Okay, so there was no regrouping in this problem. But let's look at number two. We have 814 take away 263. I have four ones. Can I take away three ones? Yes, because three is less than one. So we don't have to regroup the ones. Now I get to the tens and I have one ten and I have to take away six tens. Oh, we can't do that, right? So let's go to the hundreds, take one of the eight hundreds, and trade it for ten tens. If we do that, now we have eleven tens. Ten tens plus one ten is eleven tens. Eleven tens minus six tens leaves us five tens. And seven hundred minus two hundred is 500. Okay. All right, so let's go to page 315. So write the difference for the following problem. 629 minus 482. We have nine ones. Can we take away two ones? Yes, because two is less than nine. So we don't have to regroup the ones. Two minus eight. Well, I can't take 8 from 2, so let's regroup from the hundreds. Trade one of the hundreds for 10 tens. Okay, so 12 minus 8 is 4, and 500 minus 400 is 1. Okay, 936 minus 173. Okay, well, I can take 3 from 6 because 3 is less than 6. But I can't take 7 from my 3 tens. So I'm going to regroup one of the 900s and give 10 tens, give a uh, trade it for 10 tens. 13 minus 7 is 6 tens, and 800 minus 100 is 700. Number 5, 435 minus 192. 5 minus 2, yes, 2 is less than 5, so we can do that. 3, take away 9, we can't do that, so we're going to change one of the, take one of the hundreds and trade it for 10 tens. 13 minus 9, we should get 4, and 300 minus 100 should give us 200. Okay, number 6. 387 take away 47. Okay, so this problem here sometimes trips up students. Sometimes some students will write 47 here, just going left to right. But remember, we have to line up place value. And in the number 47, 7 is in the ones place. 40, the four tens, is in the tens place. Okay, so make sure you line up your place value. So we have seven tens and we have to, uh, seven ones and we have to take away seven ones. You can do that. That's going to leave you zero ones. Eight tens minus four tens. Four tens. Three hundred minus nothing. Three hundred and forty then. Number eight. Five hundred eighty-eight minus four hundred and fifty. Eight take away zero. Sure. Eight. Eight tens take away five tens? Sure, three. Five hundred take away four hundred? One hundred. Okay, number five. Eight, three hundred forty-five take away two hundred sixty-three. Five take away three? Two. 
by the way, we didn't have to regroup at all in number seven, right? And we didn't have to regroup in number six. All right, so five, take away three is two. But here I have four tens and I have to take away six tens. We can't do that, so we're going to take one of the three hundreds and trade it for ten tens. Fourteen tens, take away six tens. Eight tens. Two hundred, take away two hundred, is zero, or eighty-two. All right, choose one exercise above. Describe the subtraction that you did, and be sure to tell about the values of the digits in the numbers. Okay, so you can choose three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose number three. Number three, I had 629 and needed to take away 482. Okay. So I'm just going to explain how I solved number three. Okay, so I started with ones. Nine minus two equaled seven. But in the tens, I didn't have enough. To subtract eight tens. So I traded one hundred or ten tens. Then twelve tens minus eight tens. equaled four tens. Last, 500 minus 400 equaled 100. My answer was 147. Okay, so again, all I basically did was explain how I solved the problem. I had a 629, I needed to take away 482. I started in the ones, 9 minus 2 gave me 7. But when I tried to take 8 tens from 2 tens, there weren't enough. So I borrowed or regrouped from the 400 and traded it for 10 tens. Okay, so 10, 10. So I took one of the 600. That left me 500. 12 minus 8 gave me four tens. And then hundreds, 500 minus 400 gave me 100. So again, choose any of those exercises and explain it. All right, and finally, page 316. Number 10. Sam made two towers. He used 139 blocks for the first tower. He used 276 blocks in all. For which tower did he use more blocks? Okay, so we know he used 139 in the first and that he used 276 in all. So I'm going to write a little note up here. First tower, 139. We have to find the second tower by subtracting. So 276 minus 139. Okay, well, I don't, I can't take nine ones from six. So I'm going to regroup one of the tens for 10 ones. 16 take away nine is seven. Six take away three is three tens. And 200 take away 100 is 100. So 100 
37. So tower one. Okay. Tower one, explain how you solved the problem. Well, I started by subtracting 139 from 276. That gave me 137 for the second tower. I compare 139 to 137. 139 was greater. Okay. So I just basically explained that I subtracted. I got a total of 137 for tower for the second tower. Then I compared 139 to 137 and 139 was greater. So tower one. All right. And number 11. This is how many points each class scored in a math game. Mrs. Rose, 444 points. Mr. Chang's class, 429 points. And Mr. Pagano's class, 293 points. How many more points did Mr. Chang's class score than Mr. Pagano's class? Draw a picture and explain how you found your answer. Okay, so our question is, how many more? How many more did Mr. Chang's class score than Mr. Pagano's? Mr. Chang's class scored 429 points. How many more is a subtraction clue? Mr. Pagano's class, 293. Okay, so that's our subtraction problem. That's going to tell us how many more. Okay, so draw a picture and explain how you found your answer. Okay, so remember, we can use a bar model to represent this. And so we can say Mr. Chang, 429. Mr. Pagano's class doesn't have that many. They have 293. We have to find this missing amount. How much more is that? Okay. So. Okay, so sorry about the writing there. So basically, I drew a picture, a bar model. If I subtract 429 and 293, that will tell me the difference between Mr. Chang's and Mr. Pagano's classes. So nine ones take away three ones. We can do that. That's six ones. When I get to the tens, I have two tens and I have to take away nine tens. So we're going to have to regroup one of the hundreds. For 10 tens, 12 tens take away 9 tens is 3 tens, and 300 take away 100 is 100. So, 136 is the difference. Okay, so that's it for lesson 6.9, regrouping hundreds with three-digit subtraction. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.